Now let's move back to the markets over here in Nigeria. Q3 corporate earnings continue to flow into the markets. Roti Mepakaijo, CEO of Enterprise Capital Partners, is at the NSC right now to help us wrap up the day's trade. Roti thank you very much for joining us. And we've continued to see those numbers flow out from corporate Nigeria. The numbers we've seen today, I think perhaps the, one of the most significant will be what we've seen from Lafarge Africa. We're seeing a 29% dip in profits. But on the flip side, we're seeing Ashaka Cement, which we know is also part of the Lafarge Group in Nigeria, reporting a very strong strong improvement in, in, um, in profit. So how do you juxtapose these two numbers? Well, I think uh, taking it from Ashaka Cement, for quite a while it's really been in the right, except uh, maybe the last uh, 15 months, whereby, whereby it bounced back and it started paying dividend again. Mm. I think uh, for Ashaka Cement also, they've really done a lot to reduce their operating expenses. We saw a sharp drop, a sharp drop from 13 billion to 10 billion. Uh, and their operating expenses, that uh, with just a slight increase of about 10% in their uh, gross earnings, we are seeing about 103% increase in their bottom line. And I think uh, they've really gone a long way and they've done a lot in their financial engineering to ensure that this comes to place. And I think uh, maybe for Wap Lafarge Wapco, it's actually the operating expenses that is weighing down on the company. And we've seen that also in major other uh, companies listed on the exchange not uh, being able to tackle their is I mean, bring down the uh, figures in their operating expenses, and that is why we are seeing so much disparity in these two uh, companies, in spite of the fact that they belong to the same f uh, sector. All right. Um, I am seeing that Diamond Bank also reported late during the trading session. We'll get into that in a little bit. But let's talk a bit about um, the other numbers that we've seen recently. Nestle Nigeria also reporting today. Uh, that stock, of course, one of their highest nominal uh, in terms of nominal values one of the the, the the highest price stock in the market your take about where nestle goes from here well i think i i i, I won't cease to mention the fact all the time that um nestle nigeria plc belongs to a stock in its own class it's very exclusive and for those investors that are holding on to those shares i think uh, they uh though the result matters but at the same time they will hold on to that stock come rain, come shine. So what we see now by uh, with, the res uh, with the price having come below 1,000 era, I still want to believe that it's, real it's still going to get higher than that. Mo uh, more so for the fact that they are doing an interim dividend of 10 era. So mm. I think uh, investors are really going to sympathize on that note and are really uh, go, go I mean, they will definitely go ahead to hold on to what they have. So mm. I don't really see much of a drop in the price of uh, Nestle Nigeria PLC. Right, and what about Unilever though? Unilever, of course, when they reported, not very exciting. What do we do with that stock? That's been a bellwether for many years. But recently we have seen that they have come under some pressure. Operating expenses have been a problem. Well, I think uh, it, for Unilever, it's quite a different ball game. Because for Nestle, we have seen an, uh, a slight increase in their top line, in their gross earnings. But for uh, Unilever, it really means that business, their business is really threatened. Because we have seen a sharp drop in their, um, in their top line and also a significant drop in their bottom line. And I think uh, when a, uh, a particular company is losing market share, then it's really, really a serious problem. And I think uh, they really have to do a lot to do more of marketing so that they can improve their sales. Otherwise, we may really see this, this trend continue for Unilever. Right. I don't know if you've had a chance to see this, but of course, Stambik IBT has now reported its numbers, 49% improvements in profit. I think that's one of the best numbers we're going to see out of the banking sector. What do you think this could mean for the share price going forward? Well, I think uh, it's really done well because uh, the share price right now is the highest in that particular sector. And uh, with such a fantastic result, uh, we have seen every other company uh, with their profit after tax dipping. Whereas for this one, is recording a significant growth. And I think for this growth, investors are definitely going to compensate it. And we're going to see the price improve once again, at least maybe to about 33 naira. Right. But like I mentioned, this is perhaps one of the best we're going to see, especially from the banking sector. What's your outlook for the banking stocks? Are we likely to see a rally at any point? Because what we've seen so far from the likes of FBN Holdings, UBA, it's all been a case of declining profit do you think that these stocks can still rebound even though many people will continue to argue that many of them are undervalued in terms of an when you look at their intrinsic value yes i, I agree with you that they, some of them are undervalued even fbn plc with the position that it is right now 
the earnings per share is still above two naira. And uh, concerning rally, I believe uh, we're going to have a, we're still going to have a rally, maybe very shortly, but it's going to be short-lived. It's not going to last for too long. And I think uh, maybe after that, we may just see the stocks resting at, that, at those particular prices. Uh, well, for me, I believe uh, FBN Holdings trading at about 16, 17 is still a very fair price. So for what we are seeing right now, the, the stock is well under value. Because the expectation for the result that we've just seen, the nine-month result, I think we're expecting it to be worse than what it is. But I think uh, they've really done a lot to be able to keep it at the figure that, we are, that, that, that they are presented. All right. So let's end with this. What, which stocks are looking most exciting for you? So far, earnings season hasn't been great, but I think it was widely expected. So in this context, where, which, where should we be putting our money? Which stocks are the best ideas for you? Well, I think uh, maybe we've seen a lot of stocks come down significantly. We saw that Transco PLC closing on offer today at 451 Cobo. And I think uh, maybe on that note, I believe uh, it's one of those stocks that should really be looked at. And with UBA trading at 509, 510, I think uh, is really another stock to look at. And uh, maybe a few other stocks in the banking sector whose prices have come down significantly, more so for uh, Sky Bank PLC. All right, Rotimi, let's leave it there. Rotimi Fakai is your CEO of Enterprise Capital Partners.